What's up, YouTube? Everybody, got some a new a pickups um, recently, past week or so. Let's take a look. Some local stuff hit the shelves. I saw some good stuff and uh, finally saw it. A lot of people get these things early before I do. Um, but if you're patient, you can get them retail. Don't have to pay any scalpers this time. Let's take a look. So I got some Matchbox. We got uh, M2. I got some mainline stuff. Hot Wheels. Let's take a look. Got some good trucks too. So what am I going to start with? Well, did find this. This is going to go into the Ford collection. Um, That's a 70. Look at this bad boy. 74 wheel drive F100. Very nice looking truck. I love this color. This is the Auto Meets M2 release 49. So a lot of kind of crap with this release I thought I didn't really like it it was like a you know van they had like a beetle uh not a beetle they had a 240c a 70 muscle car what was it uh Chevelle so stuff like that I've seen it already but this very good got a couple of these I'm gonna use the rims on one of them but here it is in its stock form. Of course, you get the hood that opens. There's the bump side for it. They read this body style to 72. There's those nice tires that M2 does. So very pleased with this. Of course, they got that shallow bed. I like this truck, though. Simple interior. Metal base. There's the box. Not many produced. 7,000. So very excited to have this one. It's going to go in my other trucks. Looks good with the other Ford I body swapped. Going to a four wheel drive. Like those two trucks. So very nice. Very excited to have that in the collection. So 1970. Very nice looking truck. M2. Alright, moving right along. Let's take a look at some more stuff. Um, Hot Wheels. Found the Nissan. The other one I didn't talk about, but I kind of like this. Because it does have a good livery on it. So, this will go with the other Hot Wheels transporters. I mean, this is completes the set current. I got all the other ones. And it comes with a great 240. Which is very nice. Nicely detailed. I like this car a lot. Should be based off. I think this is based off a realistic livery. I just forget what. White metal base. Tampa on the rear. Like that. It's a good car. Very happy to have this car as part of my transporters. And of course, the Sakura Sprinter. Nothing new about that. Just has the Nissan licensing. So that is very nice. I like that. Let's see if I get an upper shot in there. There we go. Opens. Of course, that needs a little bit better departure angle. <laughs> Doesn't work that great. But it does look good together. So. Excited. Very nice. Very, very nice. A little bit under scale for 164th. But uh, it does do well in the Hot Wheels world. Definitely. Okay, so a couple of cars to add to the collection. We have this one, which actually I'll share with you because I finally found it. We got the Sriracha Nissan Junior. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Let's see. Let's take a look. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got the green windows. And it goes great with my food truck. So, look at that. Very happy to have these two. Found a couple more for carded. All the sriracha you could eat. There you go. So, very excited. Light base on this one. Plastic. It's got the white discs on it. Very nice looking truck. 
a little bit of a out of scale vehicle, but it's not bad. So I'm very happy to have that. So now I have my Sriracha complete. I also found, it's in the hoard, the Sriracha monster truck from Hot Wheels. So have a lot of Srirachas. <laughs> Definitely a lot of them. Okay, so I'm going to look at some more cars. Um, let's go a little bit above some main lines right now. We're going to look at Matchbox super fast. We got the new mix. I uh, found them finally. So we got the Ford truck. This is a 32 Ford with opening doors. Very nice. Very cool. It's got the what is it, the 50th super fast anniversary tailgate? Let's take a look. Let's take a little look here. So this is the Ford. Cab is a little thick. There's the box. Cab is a little thick. They tried. They tried. Door is very stiff. I do like the grill. They did the grill very nicely. Fat tires look good. So that's very nice. So of course, the windshield's a little thick right there. This is metal. Fenders are plastic. They did use the good wheels for it, though. They got those steelies, basically, chromed out. So I like that a lot. Pickup truck. Shallow bed. Here's your uh, anniversary tampo. So... And they tape all the back too, like they put all that uh, strap on there for the tailgate hinge. It's got that nice gold paint. Rolls nicely. So, very nice looking truck, really. I mean, it's a couple of matchbox stuff they had to get around. Having a thick cab, pillars and all that. But other than that, I mean, the truck looks good. It's danced good. It is raked. It rolls very nicely. So, cool truck. There's your chrome base. Looks like it snaps in with the grill. So, very cool. Very, very cool truck. Alright, so, Ford. Let's take a look at some more stuff, shall we? Let's look at this. This is a really cool car. So, this is the one I saw too. And I said, you know what? I, I was kind of hesitant about buying it. But, uh, I'm glad I got it. This is a throwback to... A car that was released in the Super Vast series in 1970. So 70, 71, 72, went through the 70s. I think they stopped doing it in the 80s or, or 90s. And maybe that was the last time it was done. I looked it up a little bit a while ago. But I remember having one of these cars. And uh, they did it justice. Matchbox did it all like it, the old one was. Done. So metal base, metal body. Unlike the other super fast cars that are kind of like basically mainline pop or uh, matchbox cars with opening features and rubber tires, but this one's all metal and it's got the reproduction super fast wheels and tires. They changed the tampo on this, so it says the 50th on there. I guess the original one had 86 or something like that, but. Same color scheme, pallet blue paint that rolls amazingly, just like super fast cars were. They were trying to compete with Hot Wheels. Kind of ditched that heavy axle and uh, big tire, skinny tires that they were doing before this in the 60s and 50s. The man is in there. Really, the difference between this casting and the, and the original ones was these pipes were separate. That was the, one of the biggest things I saw. Um, but I think the size of this car is pretty much similar. Of course, they didn't pay that much attention to detail back then. So they did put the taillights and the parachute in. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And it's got the tampo work right there for the anniversary. And it's a heavy car. I mean, it really does feel like the older casting cars. So I'm really excited I got this car. Oh. This will be probably on the display instead of being in the cases because I like this car that much. So very excited to have this. Uh, if you see this, get one. They are worth it. They're definitely worth it. Especially if you've seen the original ones. So excited to have that. Okay, so 
And what is it called again? <laughs> I forgot the name. Blue Street. Blue Shark. Yeah, the Blue Shark. So you can look that up on the Maxbox Wiki and all their fan pages. They'll have tons of information on this car. It's pretty easy to look up. All right, Blue Shark. There it is. This is the one that drew me to the new mix, really. The first place was obviously, for me, was the Turbo. So this is a 80 Carrera Turbo 911. So we're going to look at this. And really, I've seen kind of stuff about this car. Um, but there's still details. When I took this car out of the package, that I, I noticed that I didn't see on other you know pictures or reviews or whatever. So let's share some of my thoughts. First of all, the car has a funny roof line. I mean, it's not that bubbly in real life. Um, there's plenty of castings of this car. Uh, let's see if I can get... Let's say what, this one. Oh, yeah. Early air cool car. I think Hot Wheels does a pretty good job with the roof line. I'd say a little bit better than that. I mean, really, these are pretty much very close to the same generation cars. You could see how the Matchbox is a little bit different. It's not to say the Matchbox isn't great because it is in its own way. It's a, it's a Matchbox of a Matchbox, really, because they kind of accentuated the car like they used to on their older castings. Of course, the wheels and tires are great, but they could be better. Of course, you could see the track on the rear is not up to standard. I mean, these turbo cars, the track was wider in the back. It wasn't the same, and they did it the same. Tires are cool, but they're kind of like cartoon tread. It's almost like something you'd see on a comic strip <laughs> with the, the way the tread is done. But it's a nice rolling car, and uh, they use those wheels. Got a matchbox before. The one thing I liked about this car, too, is the paint job and also the fine detail on the spoiler. Uh, when these turbos, this is basically based on the turbos that came out in, like, 74, that time frame when the 80 body was coming around. And so the car has a certain look to it. The turbo is definitely a better looking car, I'd say, than the regular 911, but both of them are nice. But this had a very wide rear end. And uh, it was quite the power maker once the boost came on. So it's got the 50th anniversary super fast logo on the hood or in the bonnet here, trunk. And now let's open the doors on this one. This is the one I was able to open the doors the easiest. That little Ford truck was not easy. So it's got the Carrera bucket seats. It's got the console. A little bit more attention to the steering wheel detail. Three spoke, which Porsche was, I think, back then. It was a three spoke, pretty fat steering wheel. I got some tempo work on the front. Not all of it's picked out. Uh, there is no signal lenses or any of that. And there's no black banding here where the bumper is so some of it was left off most of it's there you get the porsche crest headlights are done but the roof line's a little bit tall and they did the back too which looks good so i mean it's a it's a nice car and it reminds me of an old school matchbox especially with the color scheme so i'm happy to have it uh, i'll probably get another one of these I see it because these ones go up in, in price you know they're not like just the regular moving parts cars these cars are five dollars <laughs> so again I mean this one seems more like even though it doesn't have rubber tires this one seems more like it's worth the money than this one but uh I don't know that's just my opinion I guess so good looking car very nice to have it in the collection so we got some premium stuff now um so I went to the NHRA Nationals in Indy that was this past Labor Day weekend. And the very gracious buddy had an extra ticket. So I went on Friday all day, and that's a qualifying day. And uh, saw all the cars run. Very nice, very good stuff. Well, obviously, me being diecast uh, nut, I'm going to go look for it. So, of course, what a great opportunity. You know, watch the race and go look at stuff. So. Hot Wheels did have a tent. I was very disappointed. They were putting out mainline 30 packs and uh, 5 packs and stuff like that. I was thought I was going to hit the jackpot with, uh, you know, car culture or something amazing. But no, even though it was a Mattel-sponsored tent, they had nothing there but mainline. So that was a disappointment. But they had vendors, and I got something officially from the NHRA shop. And then I had a another aftermarket tent that had something quite interesting. So we'll take a look at both. 
First, let's see this. This was last year's Top Fuel Champion. And it has this really cool livery of the Gator. And uh, when you have a Top Fuel Dragster, you know, it's so long. Uh, what better livery than to have than a Gator? <laughs> so this thing is Auto World's fun, or Top Fuel car they're casting. So metal on this car would be the wing and the shell and everything else is plastic it does have rubber tires it's got the motor but it's kind of simple it's not a high high detail car but it's good it runs it rolls very nicely it's got very interesting front wheels and tires let's take a look you can see there so and it's got the 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 graphics done very nicely it's very sharp as you can see and I don't it's my first 164 top fuel I think I used to have a 124th car but I sold it but I'm probably gonna get some more eventually but anyway got your contingency stickers there of course the simple engine this one doesn't have the the uh, windshield some of these cars have windshields on them and stuff and cockpits this is kind of an open car and there's your tires very soft and then there's your wing and it's got your wheelie bar right there doesn't even let the car come up even like a little bit so I thought that was cool and there's the underneath chassis auto world stamping these cars are limited runs they come in uh, different uh, runs of three uh, they, the, this is the current one I guess because this is the one they had for sale but uh, they had one a couple of times before and uh, that's the card art for it. And then I got the winner. There's old Terry. And I uh, saw all those people run. Terry, Antron, and Leah. It was awesome. Of course, uh, Force's daughter was very fast uh, when I was there. So, cool stuff. And then the other one, the prize of the day in terms of die cast. I found this car. I guess this is an older release. I saw this in the case. Warren Johnson 72 Vega. I mean, amazing car. Wait until you look at the graphics on this thing. And of course, there was a set back then. This was their 2.0 series. So basically a full premium car. Got metal base, full tempo work. Um, it's got the rubber tires. I mean, this is a great car, but the, the artwork on it. And it's got the uh, center lines on the back, drag wheels. Let's take a little bit better look. This car is just amazing. Amazing. Such a small little car. Vega. Got your uh, scoop done. It's got the writing on it. I mean, look at that. AHRA. It's got that psychedelic striping done. You know, this is 72. 70s car. Just awesome. Just really, really good stuff. You see those wheels are done good. It's got a cage on it, you know, so it's got a roll bar. It's full interior detail. It's even got the tail lights done. There's your base. So I guess this car came out a while ago. Looking from the back, it was in the early 2000s or something, or maybe 2010, something like that. So the car's been around a while. They're going up in value. I had to take it out of the package. It was just so nice. Such a great car. So I wanted to share that with you guys too and gals. Just a pretty little die cast that we got in front of us. So Warren Johnson 72 Vega. I guess it was a real strong car back there. I think it was a pro stock car. Um, something like that. Pro mod. One of those classes and uh you know be running a smaller big box chevrolet it looks like on this since it opens this way um from what i can tell i mean there's not much detail but it's not a blown car or anything it looks like it's just a tunnel ram or a high-rise intake manifold two four barrels so uh, not so exotic it might have had in the shot of nitrous who knows i have no idea i don't know exactly what they were running in those classes it got pretty exotic even in the 70s um but you know, it looked like just a carb car on, on a motor, old motor car. So, you know, these cars are running real good times anyway. So, 
really cool to have this card. Very, very excited to have it in my collection. I'm going to put that up with my drag cars. And uh, it'll have a very nice spot. So, getting you up to date on some of the additions to the collection. More to come. I think I'm going to do a 125th scale coming up. Die cast. So, I'm going to get prepared for that one. But, more to come. Green Lights has a lot of stuff. Probably the Caprice is coming next. Uh, in short order. But, uh, again... Nice variety today. Nice little variety. Um, wanted to share some die casts that I got. I really like these cars. Uh, it's starting to pile up. I'm going to have to go through inventory again and get them back into cases because we only try to have the highlights on the shelf anyway. But uh, all of them are lovely. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, subscribing. Till next time.